What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are doing another episode of the series where I rate your squads in NBA 2K22, my team lads. So before we answer, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, we upload more my team videos here than anywhere else, and yeah, also if you guys want me to want to send in your teams, follow me on Twitter, at DBGYT underscore, and uh, yeah. Um, I send your teams and I may rate it. Again, a lot of these teams are the exact same. So basically, if it turns out that I rate a certain team, just an example, like 6 out of 10, and there's a very similar team, if I do skip over your team because it's very similar to something I've rated, I do apologize. But now, let's get on to it. Okay, so... This team right here. This is the reason why I don't look at uh, database teams. Because they are so hard to see. But next gen. I have 60k to work with. Um, like to 3 home with Devin Booker. Mainly handle with Kyrie. Occasionally run pick and roll. Okay. You got no defense. Your starting lineup has no defense whatsoever. Like that Kyrie needs to go. Like, you can sell the Marbury. You can put Kyrie on the bench and start. I mean, even starting Marbury. Marbury's way better on defense Kyrie. Kyrie cannot guard anybody. Like, Booker can't really guard a secondary ball handler. Neither can Kyrie. Booker can't guard a power force. He can't put Darius Miles on a secondary ball handler. So, if you're playing against somebody that can score with two players. Like, if you're playing against somebody. Hypothetical situation. You're playing against somebody running Marbury and... Or Suggs and Harden. Kyrie can't guard both. We're sorry, Harden can't guard both. So you're kind of screwed. It all depends on how good you are with Kyrie. Like, if you are exceptional with Kyrie and he's by far your best player, keep him. If not, I would say definitely, definitely the uh, the best thing to do is to honestly just tactically downgrade Marbury to Suggs, I guess. Move Kyrie on your bench because Griffith and Kelly can play a little bit of defense. And. You're in a little bit of a better scenario, I guess. So, anyway. Now we are going to get on to it. Our next player. Okay, Bob Cousy. Money Mitch. Dude's got Wilt, so he obviously knows what he's doing. Bob Cousy, Devin Booker, Money Mitch, Serge Ibaka, and Wilt. With Kyrie, James Harden, Darius Miles, Bob Pettit, and Porzingis. Okay, that's slow. Like, you've got a million MT. And I get it. Like, this team costs a grand total of, like, 30,000 MT, if even. It's only Porzingis and Maz are auctionable. But, like... Again, Maz can kind of guard a defender. But, pet at the 4 with that 40 lateral quickness is a bit of a problem. It really is. Surge at the 4 with his 50 speed is a bit of a problem. Like, if you come up against a LeBron James, you're going to get it eaten alive with either of those guys. Mitch Richmond's fine. Your Mitch Richmond and Booker are basically the same card. Neither of them really play much defense. Um, but they're basically the same thing. Like, it's not bad. Like, this team... Like, you've got Wilts. You obviously know what you're doing. You're looking for Peyton. So, if you're good enough to get him, it's good. But, like, your team's not very not great. I'll give him, like, a 7 out of 10. It's only okay. Okay. Okay, this team's interesting. You've got 122k. So, 122k next gen. Want to grind all of them to get tokens. Want to replace Glenn, Surge, and Kyrie. Want more defense. Okay, so once you get the tokens. So you want Glenn, Surge, and Kyrie. Why? Why would you keep Rui Hachimura on your team? And replace Glenn Robinson. I'm sorry, it's not a smart decision. Glenn is your best power forward. Scotty's pretty good. Just get Suggs for Kyrie if you don't like him. And then for me, I would once you get the tokens for completing Dom, I would put Money Mitch in for Rui Hachimura. And go and like Jamal Murray, James Harden, Money Mitch. Money Mitch is a really good say not why am I sorry, not Money Mitch, not Money Mitch. Chris Mullen. Chris Mullen. Sorry, I almost told you guys you to buy Mitch Richmond. Buy Chris Mullen. Because Mullen can guard secondary ball handlers. In fairness, Suggs kind of can as well. 
Booker can't. Suggs can't. With that, Suggs is 84 lateral. And he's a decent height. Like, Jamal Murray can't guard really anybody. So you need two defenders at these two positions. And then for me, I push Glenn Robinson up to the four. Other than that, not a bad team. Very similar to the last team. I'll go seven out of ten. Okay. Interesting. Just before season one ended, currently have 42 KMT. No money spent. Happy to make changes if needed. Okay, this was a quite a while ago. Like again, this was two days ago I tweeted this out. We were saying just before season one ended, so you haven't gotten any new season two cards. I'm trying to think what season two cards could help you out. I don't think any really any of the new signature series cards could help you out too much. Like you need a big man. You kind of need a big man to replace Rick Smiths. Oh, Marvin Bagley. Oh, no. If you like Rick Smith, saw Marvin Bagley get yumming. This isn't that bad. For what it is, it's not that bad. It's really not. Like, Suggs is perfect. Suggs and Simons work at the one. Like, again, they're my two point guards. Uh, Duarte works. Robinson works. Like, for what it is, for the amount of D you have, it works. But if you prefer Rick Smith to Marvin Bagley, I would just get you. Yeah, just get run Giants. And just save up your MT. Honestly, your team leaves quite a bit to be desired, but if you start saving up your tokens, then you can go and get yourself like a Bingo Smith to put into two. You can maybe work your way up to a Chris Mullen. Like getting tokens isn't too bad. If you're playing TT offline, you're, in that meantime, you're probably going to get a rate for the friends, um, who is a really, really good player. I wouldn't really spend too much MT, but not bad. Not a bad team. Not a bad team at all, honestly. Not a bad team at all. Not a brilliant team. Not a bad team. I'll go for what it, like it is realistically like a 5.5 out of 10. But for what it is, I got to give you like a, a 7 for the price. But it's, um, it's not the, not the greatest. Okay, so let's go. Season 1 squad. Interesting. Picture is very small. Can't that will not be able to be seen on mobile. Okay, give me some decent quality pictures. This is like basically my old team. Except I used to run at right back. I used to run thing at right. I used to run Saint Just there. At right back, I would have. Okay, left back, I had like Wynal. These two are my strikers. These were almost my CMs. Like Wynal them instead of. At Gravenberch, and I played with Mugiele at right back. This is very similar to a team that I ran in FIFA. Um, okay. Hawks 2018, absolutely unstoppable Chris Mullen. 1J Steph Curry giveaway, so I'll be coming to the team as he's starting PG position. Just sell the Steph Curry. He's like 500k. Sell the sell Steph Curry. Sell Steph Curry, and you're suddenly sitting on like 650k. We're not 650. I say nearly 700k MT. If he sells for 500k on the dot, you are like 1,000 off being on 700k MT. And if you have 700k MT, spend 100k of it. Honestly, spend 100k. If you like DJ, you know what? You're not going to get a better equivalent to DJ for less than 100. Unless you want to buy Mount Matumbo. Ron Harper and James Harden, you know what? I like Ron Harper. I really do. But at this stage in the game, he is that little bit outdated. I really like Suggs. Just go and get yourself. If you like Suggs, get yourself an Anthony Simons. Simons offers a lot more on offense. And um, I don't know. If you want a tall point guard, just use Vitkreji. Use Vitkreji. I will be making a video on him tomorrow. But Vitkreji is a, a demon. He is an absolute demon. Um... Please tell me I got his name right. Yeah, Vitkreji. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I watch I watched Spanish commentators um for the ACB last year talking about him. So um I think I'm gonna go by their pronunciation of it. Okay, next thing going for Mullen. Mullen's insane, by the way. That last team though, I'll give it like an it's like an eight. This is a nine at least. You've got arguably the two best point guards in the game. Personally, I think Peyton's a little bit better. But you can you can make an argument that he's the number one and two because of the way Rose moves and because of the way IT is. You've got arguably the best two guard, best two two guards in the game. 
you've got Kawhi Leonard, Grant Hill, who are both unbelievable. Anthony Davis and Josh Smith, very similar level cards, both really got a power forward. And I prefer both of them at power forward. Then Joel Embiid and Chris Stapps. His team is fantastic. You get Chris Mullen. Like the only thing Chris Mullen will be in there for is, I don't know, you profit on you sell Grant Hill for like 250k. And all of a sudden you um you just get an extra 250k. And that's the only reason I would really, really go for Mullen. Because he's very similar to Grant Hill. I mean, not in the way they play. I mean, a similar level. Like, Grand Hill is way better at one thing. Um, Mullen's very better at another. But I think they're equally as effective. And uh, imagine if this was the real Maxi Kleber. Imagine if this actually was the real Maxi Kleber. That'd be hilarious. You got anyone on mobile may not be able to see that his account name is Maxi underscore Kleber. Okay. So that seems high quality. There we go. Next gen. We'll have Peyton in the next week. Gonna have around 300k when finished with Unlimited. Okay, so Gary Payton's gonna go in. Um, then that means you can sell one of your point guards. And again, you say you're gonna have 300k, so obviously I, mean, I assume I assume selling that's gonna be a thing. Um, Donovan Mitchell, Kawhi Leonard, Josh Smith, Chris Stapps, Levine, ML Carr, Antoine Jameson, Will Chamberlain is a great center. And we're just gonna just mash on people. You're just gonna be able to just paint mash. Um... ML is a great defender. Harden's a really good defender. You know what? Isaiah Thomas is a good secondary or tertiary ball defender. Jameson hit shots. Like Jameson doesn't do anything particularly well, but I mean, one thing I will say about Jameson is he doesn't really have a weakness. He does not really have a weakness at that position. Josh Smith, very, very good power forward off the bench. Kawhi, Donovan Mitchell, Drew Holiday. I mean, there's no real flaws. But there are no real flaws with this team either. A really, really good team here, to be honest. Run Hawks 2018, looking to replace Robin and also need a big man on the bench. Have one 10 KMT, looking to replace any other players. Um, okay. So. First player for replacing Robin, like surely Josh Smith is the first, is the most obvious option. Josh Smith is like slightly better than Dennis Robin. And again, like I used Robin in limited this week and I actually kind of enjoyed him. But Dennis Robin's going to be in there. Scotty Pippen, a... Really good player. Glenn's really good. Okay, so you got 110k. I mean, it all depends on who you prefer, Draymond or Robin. Like, I would either just buy Josh Smith straight out, or if you want to keep Draymond in and save a bit of MT, put Robin in. These, I personally don't think Kyrie and Donovan Mitchell works. I really don't. I would go for more of a... If you can afford... If you can get a Drew Holiday for cheap, I know sometimes he's a little bit expensive... If you can find a Drew Holiday for cheap, he works way better with Donovan Mitchell. Like, you've got to have someone that's at least 6'3". Like, even a Jalen Suggs works better. Say not someone that's at least 6'3". Someone that can at least play a little bit of defense because Donovan Mitchell's just too small. Like, Kyrie, you're going to have to put Kyrie on a small forward. And if anyone knows they're doing, he's going to post up Kyrie. They're going to abuse Kyrie in the post. I mean, the same thing can be said for, like, Jalen Suggs. So, it is quite close, but... Oh, no, you've got Harden. That doesn't... I was like, that doesn't really work either. Harden can't play point guard. And you got Bingo Smith. I don't know. Like your team's solid. Your team's like an 8.5 out of 10. I just don't really know how to switch it. Honestly, I'm I'm kind of baffled because arguably the four best players in your team, four of your five best players are all playing, all play the same position of Mitch. Like you're so stacked in this team at the two slash three. These three guys all play the same position. By the way, if you have these three guys, there's no like there's no need for all three of them. They all play the same position. You're just wasting money on contracts. Yeah, three goals. And if you have Dennis Smith Jr., Corey Kispert, and anybody else, that would be the ideal. Okay, everybody's completely badged out. Play, or, this team's a beast. This is a beast of a team. Um, that's a really good team. Okay. I know RCA said in a team. I want to see RCA's team. And what I would do with RCA. Let me see him sending the team. He did send one in. I just can't find it here. Scroll down. There we go. There we go. RCA plus Mullen instead of Glenn. He has got... Mullen in, 
end of the bench. Okay, I think he sold, I'm pretty sure he sold his Grand Hill, so I think Mullen's probably in there at the three. So, Drew Holiday, Jalen Brown. Drew Holiday and Wolf Frazier do basically the same things if Drew shoots the ball better. Um, Jalen Brown, really, really good. He can attack the basket. He hits shots. Harden does the same exact thing as Jalen Brown. Carmelo Anthony, another really, really solid player. Like, ar like not arguably the best small forward in the game. I don't think... Are there many people that would really argue that there are better players than Carmelo Anthony in this game? Uh, Grant Hill is solid. Anthony Davis is a really decent player as well. Um, Paul Silas, really good. And Jokic and Josh Smith. Man, he got he got the fake Paul Silas card. That is nuts. And if you guys know anything about RCA, and you're like normally, I would suggest to get rid of Jokic. But there's one like big thing when it comes to using a Jokic, and it all it depends on how you use those players. So if you need your centers to be able to play make, that's where Jokic excels. Like Jokic is a playmaking center. The problem is, a lot of the time that um, playmaking centers really really aren't used by many people like a lot of the time a lot of offenses that you dump the ball into your centers and like well there are a lot of offenses where you dump the ball into your centers and there are a bunch of off the ball cuts where the center needs can make a pass to a guard or the center can be able to take them on themselves and dribble and that's what Jokic does Jokic dribbles the ball really well for center he is a really niche player and you have to know how to use him and like there are certain players where it's like they're just ba objectively bad Jokic is not that, but if you are trying to use Jokic like he's a Will Chamberlain, he is the one of the worst centers in the game. If you are trying to use Nikola Jokic like he's... I, I don't even know how to describe him, but if you're trying to use him like he's a bruising, rebounding, shot-blocking center, and playing him like a traditional center, he's not going to work. You've got to use him in a weird way, and it's a way that no almost nobody plays. So, or CA, like, I'm pretty sure for your play style, this team's like a 9.5 out of 10. For most people's... I think most people struggle with this team. I'm not going to lie. And then I'm assuming Gary Payton's going to come in very soon for Walford Asia once you once you get a chance. Because again, this is, he was number one in 250k quals until his power went out. Like, he's arguably top five player in the world right now. But, yeah. Um, what I will always say about... What I will always say about Jokic is that... While I... Yes, I am a big fan of Nikola Jokic. Well, say, well, yes, I'm a big fan of when you use Nikola Jokic. I would never suggest that card for the average player because he's going to be garbage. He is going to be a legitimate garbage man for the average player. Okay, so any interesting squads here? Okay. You've got 20k. like to pick and roll. Center rim run. I need a better backup shooting guard. Small forward and backup shooting guard. I mean, you don't need a better backup shooting guard. That Duarte is a beast. I mean, Dame and Jalen Suggs can still hold their own on offense. They're going to get eaten alive on defense, but they can still hold their own on offense. Um, Darius Miles is still really, really good. I mean, I don't mind. I will always say it. Like, I am not that low on... What's his name? On Terrence Ross. I don't think Terrence Ross is a bad player. I, I know a lot of people out there are like... I say, I'm not that high on Terrence Ross. I know a lot of people like Terrence Ross. I am not that high on him. I'm also not that low on Jabari Parker. I think Chris Boucher gets eaten alive nowadays. I think he's not fast enough. I know he can shoot the ball. I just don't think he's fast enough in a lot of scenarios. I just think he gets he gets he, he gets destroyed. I just think he gets absolutely destroyed more often by most opponents now at that center position. So like I would spend like I would even rather use a Wendell Carter. Or if you want to go for another giant, go Rick Smiths. Or even in a weird scenario of running Jabari Parker as your bench center. Or running Dennis Rodman as your bench center. That's probably what I'd do. I'd probably run Dennis Rodman, Ben Center. Bench power forward, you can go and get yourself Jay Crowder. Your team is very undersized, but I mean, start Jay Crowder at the three, move Darius Moss at four, and bring Parker at the four off the bench. And um, with Ting at the five, with Rodman at the five, and your team gets a little bit better. But yeah, it's a, it's for what it is, it's a fine team. For a budget squad, you know what, it works. And I will definitely tell you that one of the players you're trying to improve on Duarte, who is actually one of your best players. He's one of the last players that you should be getting rid of. This, oh dear lord. Got Caron for his try. It's the 26th of October. As much as I do love Goatmere Godson, I mean, it's the 26th of October. Why do you have Nemanja Bialica and Goatmere Godson in a team 
that costs well over 300k. Like you've got Jason Richardson, who's about 25k. I don't actually know what price he is. Last time I checked, 25k. He's probably less. But you've got Jason Richardson as one of your last two off the bench, despite the fact that he is not cheap. Not that cheap, anyway. You've got Chris Bosch. And I, as much as I like Chris Bosch starting center, you've got 100k tied up on Chris Bosch when Nemanja Bialica is at the four. He's 7k! Nemanja Bialica 7k, and he's not. He's like a poor man's Danilo Gallinari. I'm not even kidding. Like, Gallinari is genuinely just Bialica, but way better. And, like, get rid of Nelson. Get Goat Suggs a point guard, or just start Freddy. Start Fred Van Vliet. Suggs off the bench. I mean, Crowd is fine. Brown's fine. Bialica. I mean, if you really like Bielita, just get Gallinari. He's Bielita, but better. But my advice would be just to start Darius Mons. I didn't sell the guys taking him MT at the end of your bench. There is no point having them. So, yeah, like, I don't... I was about to say I don't mind the team. Like, there are... It's... No, for, for how expensive this team is, it's, it's not good. I'll go 4 out of 10. Like, you've got so many absolute guys that can be attacked on that. You can, you've got 4 on this team right here. Like, you've literally got... You can attack Jameer Nelson. You can... You can target Nelson. You can target Bielitsa. Um, thankfully, your bench is a little better. But like, you got two dudes that can be targeted at all times. Pretty much at all times on the floor. Not great, in my opinion. Interesting. Have you ever tried the Kawhi Leonard dynamic duo with this, Paul George? And that's a trick question, because you can't use it. Why do you have Paul George? Do you really like Paul George enough to have two Paul Georges? I was about to say, why would you have ever a Paul George and Cam Reddish exist? It was better. I can't see much really just like Paul George release. Trey Young still in your team? Sell sell Butler and buy Rolandry Fields. Same car, but a quarter the price. Sell Julius Randle. Buy Jabari Parker if you really like Randle. Same car, a quarter the price. Why and just just don't run Serge Ibaka. So sell Jimmy Butler. Why Kyle Lowry's in there last three on the bench despite being like seven or eight KMT? For me, sell Butler. Um, get rid. Sell Butler. Get Fields. Get rid of Trey. Get Suggs. Um, get rid of Randall. Get Darius Miles. Or if you really want to run through him at a center, get rid of Randall by Jabari Parker. And get rid of Paul George by Crowder. And your team is way better. And you've also made quite a hefty amount of MT. I can't give it more than a 5 out of 10. I really, or more than a 6 out of 10. You know what? 5 out of 10. If I see that squad, I'm, I'm like thinking to myself it's a guaranteed win. Okay, any teams that are a bit different... So we don't have too long left in this video. I just want to check if there are any like different different teams. Also, 2K have probably tweeted out who the next player is at this stage. Yeah. Oh, Alex English, Carmelo Anthony. I'm just Carmelo Anthony's coming. If you guys don't know Alex English always Carmelo Anthony six. For people asking, you get five of these and then you exchange it for a diamond consumables pack. But I have played like 40 games. I've played like three boards all the way up and down and I haven't seen one of them. Um, I mean, they're all kind of in and around the same. Free, why do you have a free agent in your team? Why do you have a free agent in your team? That doesn't count. You only have five games with them. Okay. Best team in the game. Best team in the game. I score every point with Dean Wade. Replace, oh man, the best team in the game. Dean Wade is God. I wonder who this year's, I already know who this, this year's meme player is going to be. I'm going to make a video on it tomorrow. Like we had, we had Alexi Pokashevsky last year and Yuta. We had Dean Wade the year before. We had Hito Turkoglu in 2K19. But I'm telling you. I am telling you. Um, 
I, I already know who the player is going to be. And I've already mentioned him in this video. If you guys uh, did not hear. But uh, yeah, so. Let's keep scrolling. This is not a very good FIFA team. Oh, this, this guy took me 900 games. That was grim. Why would you have 1.3 million tied up in Ronaldo and still use that Jack Grealish? Just use Wilf Just get Wilfred Zaha. He's like 1,000 coins. He's a lot better than that Grealish. Ooh, I like LaCroix St. Jus Zachariah. Um, I would put anchors instead of sentinels on both of these guys, to be honest. Pulse goals is interesting. And uh, Rousselon, left back, is very, very solid as well. I mean, Capcom Tom would not be would not be happy that you don't have the perfect link right there. Obviously, it doesn't work out. It doesn't work out chemistry-wise with say Juiced, but still, not having the LaCroix Rousselon perfect link, Capcom Tom would not be impressed. Oh, dear lord. Just got the game two days ago. I can see. Sell every player that you can sell. Like, you've got Chris. I'm, ta I'm just telling you, like, people saying Chris Webber is good, start, good at center. We don't mean this Chris Webber. Start Dario Saric at the five. Get Jay Cr Sell all of your optional players. Get yourself Jay Crowder. Get yourself Darius Miles. Um, At the four, I think Danielle Marshall's cheaper and better than Michael Porter Jr. Um, you can probably keep using Jalen Green, but Duncan Robinson's better. Um, there's a lot of better players, but we're just starting off the game two days ago. You know what? It can you can somewhat compete in low bracket SBMM. Not too bad, but uh, yeah, that seems to be it. Yeah, that's it. A lot of very very similar similar level teams. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. That is the video, lads. Let me know, um, or if you guys want me to rate your teams, send them to me on Twitter. Obviously, I do rate a lot more than 10 this year. And if I do skip over your team, um, it's just because I can't go through 200 of them. Especially because I just ha I just don't know what, what it's been like the last couple of days. I just haven't really felt up to making videos. And it's just, sorry about making this video a little bit shorter than normal and it being two days late. It's I just haven't really felt up to it, to be honest. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.